Okay, I'm going to try this again. Um, I did a whole video, but the problem with the video is it's 25, 26 minutes long, and it will take like four hours to upload. So, what I'm going to do is I'm putting this with the video, and I'm cutting the video up so that everybody gets to see the mail call separate, and then I could just put the 10-minute video up and then do the rest of it later. And then y'all can see all of that. I'm sitting on my bed because I I just, I can't. I can't. It's one of those days. I've had a whole weekend like this. So, yeah, you know, it's been one of those days. It's been a day. It's been a weekend. It's been a weekend. Time to take a nice, deep, relaxing breath. So, on to the video. Well, good morning, afternoon. It's afternoon, so <laughs> I can't say good morning, and it's going to go up late, and it's going to go up on both videos. Today's Monday, November 1st, um, and I'm falling behind on videos because I went and did a thing over the weekend, and then um, my friend's car kind of started overheating, so I kind of was like, let's, let's scale back what we had planned, because really didn't want to be way, way away from home and have my friend's car break down on us. And uh, so, play to safe. I didn't get all the videos done I'd like to do. And, and uh, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I do have a video that I did last night here in my apartment. Something new that I've never shared with you guys. Um, and being All Hallows' Eve, the, the night where the veil is the thinnest, where you can um, speak with your ancestors. ancestors. Um, I hope you enjoy what I did. Uh, it's a little bit different than my normal videos. Um, and it's something that anybody can do. You don't have to be spiritual or anything like that. Um, just wanted to share that little bit with you. So something just went over my head. Um, and talking about my little death orb um, that's been floating around my apartment. Um, lost a friend over the weekend. Um, kind of was a little unexpected, but um, he was one of those people that served in Vietnam. And he uh, always had to fight that demon because he's seen a whole lot of horrors that nobody should have to see or have to have had to do in order to survive. And um, he always talked about his struggles and there was times where he would take off and go in the woods and nobody be able to find him for days upon days upon days until he felt like he could be back in society. And that's how he dealt with it. So um, I, I feel in my heart that he's at rest and at peace now and no longer has to fight those demons. So, on a brighter note, everybody, I do have a, um, a couple pieces of mail that came. I did check my mailbox this morning. I've been out paying bills. Guys, I've been going since 4 o'clock this morning. Um, I have one more bill to drop off, and that's just right up here at the... Um, community building office so it's like I can walk that up anytime and she's actually going to be here tomorrow and that's when I'll do it because there's some unsavory people that's been hanging out here and I don't like leaving my money order in a drop box that somebody can reach in with something and pull it out you know what I'm saying I just don't so I've got this one open and I didn't take it out or anything and the other one's taped shut so We'll open that one together, plus I have a shopping haul here. Let's get into the happy part. So, I got a, the first one um, is from Fresno, California. I don't know if it's Hager or Hager, Hager, I think it's Hager family. And I love it. Oh my gosh, this brings back memories to when... I was growing up because we always had these cute little Santa Claus. They were just so cute. I love it, the Santa Claus ones. And 
Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm reading just because I always want to scan first. It says, hello, I just, just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm glad I found your YouTube channel. I hope your season is full of love and light. Forget me not paranormal. Corey, Melissa, Ryan, and Aaron. Guys, check out this channel, Forget Me Not Paranormal. I'll make sure that I put them on the screen here. Great channel. They do great sessions. Guys, check them out. It also says, P.S., we love religious cards. Just didn't have one on hand. That is perfectly fine. I will keep this um, on the wall. Guys, like I said, on your cards, kind of what you send me, I'll know kind of what your vibe is. And uh, if you have a preference, that's kind of what you'll be getting back. So I actually love the little Sani. And yes, I'll make sure that they get a beautiful card back. This is beautiful. This is cute. So cute. Thank you, thank you. And these guys, Corey and Melissa, do absolute wonderful videos. Check out Forget Me Not Paranormal, and it's forget-me-not paranormal. Check out their channel, guys. Great channel. I love that card. It is so cute. This one is taped. Tate, and it's taped really good. And it says, hi, friend, on the back. And it is from Indianapolis, Indiana. And it's from Pamela. And just by looking at the name, I can tell you it's from Pea Bunny McKenzie. So we're going to peel this tape off. And if I'm not mistaken, I remember a comment. So I'm going gently here. Opening it up. Oh, how beautiful. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, let me see. I absolutely love these two cards. Okay, I'm going to start with the Santa Claus. Look at that. Look at the and glitter. You guys can glitter bomb me. I like glittery cards, and it's got glitter. It's beautiful. Let me turn it so that the light doesn't hit on it. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful card. And here is her handmade card. Whoops. I'm thump off fumbles today. Look at the leaves, guys. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to open the inside. Beautiful. And it says, just wanted to say hi. I love this little leaf card, the fall. And it says, have spooky Halloween and very blessed Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day. I love turkey. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving. I. It's just happy time. I love the leaves. Thank you for that card. I've got to get them all hung up. And now this one has some probably a little more personal, so I may skip over a few things. But it does say over here, thinking of you this Christmas season and wishing you the best in the new year. I'll show you that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at the little, the, look at the polar bear. Snowman. It is all so beautiful. <laughs> I love the deer in the car. That is cute. Oh my gosh, and the penguin. It is so cute. Um, Laura, I hope your Christmas is very happy and blessed. Just love all your videos. And I feel like we are friends and you understand my troubles in life. Living a small income and making best of life and getting help from food pantry when we need to everybody don't ever be afraid if you need help to reach out there are people that are so um that are so afraid to reach out when they need help they feel that it's it's wrong to reach out if you need help if you need help reach out reach out no matter what that help is whether it's help with groceries whether it's help with a bill, whether it's help 
um, medically or if you're having trouble with, with just um, things of the mind. Guys, never feel bad about needing help, no matter what it is. Always reach out and ask for help. Never feel ashamed for needing or wanting help. Um, I wish you good in all you do and do, do drive safe. Yes, my video where I had a panic attack and had to pull over. Always, everybody. If you need to get off the road, find someplace safe and just get off the road. Your friend, P. Bunny McKenzie. P.S. The gray top looks so nice on you. Well, thank you so much. I love grays and, and purples and, and, and um, black is, is one of my favorite. And she's got a little saying here. She said, thought was a nice pick-me-up saying. Don't compare your life to others. There's no comparison between the sun and the moon. They shine when it's their time. Very true. Thank you so much, Pamela. That is gorgeous. The card and the saying, both cards are very beautiful, guys. Um, I'm going to put these up when I put, get my push tacks and get all my cards up. Thank you guys for the beautiful cards. I look forward to each and every one of them. I'm getting my cards ready to go out this afternoon and take to the post office tomorrow morning. I have other mail that I need to take out, so it's all going at the same time. So everybody, thanks for watching. I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. And again, thank you all for the wonderful cards. I loved opening the mailbox and finding them. It was wonderful. Everybody, have a good day. Bye, guys.